I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL. It's Martin. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Following the penalty, Martin. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bopped. And all the way in, touchdown, Oakland. Antonio Brown. deep in their own territory. They look to throw. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. They needed some breathing room. He gave it to him. 11 yards and a first down. Yeah, that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers of reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Williams now to throw on second down. Over the middle complete. That's Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Now Williams throwing on first down. This is caught. It's Ryan Grant. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. How about the first quarter he's putting together out wide? Pretty impressive. I think that he likes it, the fact that we're playing this as a day game. You know, some guys, they respond better in the evenings for some reason it builds up. For this guy, day game, and he is off and running. You're exactly right. 100 might be conservative with the start that he's had here in the first quarter. Yeah, by the numbers, he's on pace for 200-plus right now. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it. Not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. Just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. That's something you have to be aware of as a defense and have to find a way to account for him. And if you're not going to use a spot, you're telling your guys to keep your eyes on him because when he breaks out and makes plays like that, all he does is hurt you. Have to at least be able to contain him somewhat. There they could not. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Eluding the pressure right. Touchdown, Raiders! Touchdown! 
Come on, set. 18 Gators. They'll run on first down. Martin. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The tight end, Luke Wilson, was the target. And it's third and four. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Hey, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And Don Wright, they did something to disrupt that timing. A reminder, later tonight, Sunday Night Football, we'll see a game in the NFL 100 series, a rematch of the very first AFL-NFL championship game, later, of course, known as Super Bowl I. It pits the Packers against the Chiefs from Arrowhead, and that should be a fun one. A throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Here's Williams. Going to throw again. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brown. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook. But oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. On first down, Williams. And he's got his tight end. This is Luke Wilson. And he'll finally be taken down, but he gets inside the Houston 20. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tashawn Gibson. And a big turn. And now Oakland ready to take the field. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But it's the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? So how do we have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. Coming up at halftime, we remind you once again that we're going to check in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL as we reach now, hard to believe, the halfway point of the season. Time flying. It certainly is. Time to get the sweaters out, my man. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. He's got a man. It's Williams. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Instead of a third and one run, they go pass and they get 12 yards out of it. Here we go. Go. Williams on first down. He's going to take a shot for the end. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Hunter Renfro with his. Let's go now. 18, Gator. 55. Go. 55. On first down, Richard. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Back to the ground. This time, it's Martin. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because most guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people. 
Hard to get him started again occasionally. Escaping the pressure right. He finds Coleman. Solid gain of 18 and a Raider first get down. Ready, get ready. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third run, down, set. and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. Looking to throw. Williams. Pass incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass incomplete. Now the pass to Grant, and he's got it. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. They hit that crossing route really well. Excellent timing, puts it right on him, and he keeps running. Yeah, turned it upfield for good yardage. On the crossing route, complete. It's Grant. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That's on the Raiders' big money man, the free agent tackle, Trent Brown. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Williams now from the gun, he'll throw. Flushed out right. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it'd be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. Ready, ready. Stick the oar. Watch the slip. Go, go. Down. Now Williams looking to throw on second down. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 16 yards, a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Here's Williams on first and ten. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Come on. Five, five. Here's second and eight. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. This quarterback now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Operating from the gun, Williams. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Tashawn Gibson. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. A gain of nine there. Sets up second and goal. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? I got you. Hey, Sam off. They'll try to run this one in. And he is not going to get in as the big bodies stop him at the one. They try to get the nose of the football across to no avail. And now it's third and goal. 
Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Williams off the bootleg. That's caught at the one. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Doug Martin. takes it up to the 40. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Flush to his right. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 12 yards that time and an Oakland first down. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. Dancing to his left. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. On second down now. Richard trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Big stop, G. Big stop. Let's go. What? Mike 55. Mike 55. Got to do better. Come on, QB. Come on. Williams now on third down. He's got his man. It's Williams. So this one, a victory for the Oakland Raiders. And I think they might have something in this young rookie quarterback because he certainly looked the part. I have to ask you a question. Are you thinking...